Hey guys, this is Mike from Reapers Outdoors. Uh, today's Sunday. I was out doing a little tinkering in the garage. I needed to move my canoe out. I'm getting ready for a little trip next weekend, and I got tired of having to pick my canoe up, moving in and out of the garage by carrying it. So I came up with this little uh, two-wheel cart deal. I'm too cheap to go buy one, and I dang sure ain't paying a hundred bucks for one. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys what I came up with. I ain't even gonna show my face today because y'all don't want to see my ugly mug. This is about the canoe cart. All right, uh, what I did is I got a 5 8 inch uh, diameter uh, rod, a solid rod. It's not steel, but it's uh, almost like a, an aluminum. Uh, from Home Depot, I picked up, uh, and I'll put a list of stuff uh, in the description of what I used if anyone's interested in making one. Um, I used uh, four uh, caps. It's uh, all inch and a quarter PVC Schedule 40. Um, I've got one, two, four, five, six, seven nipples two T's and two 45 degree angle elbows. And I have uh, the little eyelets up in the top cap uh, where I attach the uh, tie down strap uh, to keep it tight. Uh, the two tires I picked up at uh, Harbor Freight, uh, they were like $4.99 a piece or something like that. Uh, so I couldn't complain. Uh, the, the two caps where where you see butted up next to the tires. I drilled a 5 8 inch diameter hole in the end of it. And that's kind of why you see a little bit of slope in it. Uh, I could have probably put a small diameter pipe in the middle, but it, it's not gonna break. And for what I'm using it for, it's gonna be all right. Um, I used, uh, a 5 8 inch washer here and here and I'll come around and I'll show you the the end of the uh, the wheels I also used a 5 8 washer on the outsides and just drilled a hole in the metal and put a couple of little uh, uh, clevis pins in it uh, but it's functional I've been moving it around the yard I also put in uh, I think it's a 3 8 inch diameter rope around the center. I just drilled a hole and put a knot in it just to kind of support the canoe so it wouldn't push out on the, the vertical parts too much. But if you'll hold on a second, I'll move you around so you can see it. And I'm also trying out a new video camera today, so let me know how it turns out, if it's, uh, how clear it is, guys. All right, you can see the little clevis pin and the washer, and I just drilled a hole and uh, run the clevis pin through it. And up here, just got an eyelet with my tie down strap going around the top. And the same deal on this this side, excuse me, getting the hiccups. And you can see the rope. And of course, like everything else I own, my wife's surprised I haven't painted the canoe ca uh, camouflage. I think I need to get a little better before I paint the canoe. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope they find this uh, helpful. And uh, if y'all have any questions about it, uh, just either put a comment down below or uh, send me a PM. I'll be glad to help you. Appreciate it, guys.